Hello, hi. I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm an illumined Blu-ray Twin Flame Rod and Staff Union from Chicago, Illinois. Whew, that was a mouthful. So I'm a Twin Flame from Chicago, and I'm also a teacher. And what I have for you today, I want to talk to you about physical intimacy, a thing that we all long for, and long for in a deeper and higher way. Now, this is frequently what people are seeking when they are seeking a higher love, when they're seeking something that, you know, is beyond what they've had or beyond just the 3D or the 4D or something where not all the needs seem to be met somehow. And how do you get this? In fact, how do people actually get beyond certain things? Well, I, want, I have some good news for you. This year is the year for it, okay? So this is not only the year, but this is the year for the other. That means the other person in your union. They will be going through things. And it is also the year for a lot of people who have been awakened or aware of this. So no matter what your degree of awareness is, if you feel like you've been on the journey or on the twin flame journey for a long time and there are people who feel uh, it's about 30 years 35 years everyone too maybe you just heard about this and you're not sure if it's a concept or if it's real or if what you felt was really real is what you felt really real and you started seeking some answers and maybe that was two months ago maybe that was six months ago are you on a twin flame journey? Are you on the path? Are you on the track? Or whatever people call it. Are you on the twin flame mission? Okay. And you may or may not know at times if you are or you aren't or what are you going through. Now, this is what I want to let you know is that after the eclipse that we just had, and by the way, I loved how everyone was calling it the blue blood moon. Is everyone a blue blood now? I think you're all blue bloods. Uh, in English, blue blood denotes a person of high station. You're a blue blood. So you're blue blood now. Anyways, that's just a little bit of humor for you. But post eclipse, you can be free of your past. Okay? It may not be the entire past for the entire collective. That is one of the things that does throw people off is you might look things up and think, am I going through that? Am I going through that? Not everything should be taken as a rite of passage that you have to go through it just to be able to be in your twin flame union. So what has applied to other people may not apply to your twin flame journey. That's number one. Now you can be free of your past, whatever that past is. So I want to ask some of you out there, do you remember back when you were a child and used to play childhood games with people and maybe run around in your neighborhood and sometimes it was just important to just have kids to play with or there were other kids around. And sometimes when you played games, if it didn't go the way you wanted to, what did you yell out? do over, do over, do over. This year, you've actually already had the do over. That was when you met each other. Or maybe you met who you thought was your twin, in which case it's still valid because if that was something that started you into a direction that's both higher and deeper for you, so be it. So be it. Okay? Now, there are distinguishing things of course between you know what is the truth and what isn't although that is a part of the path it is a process and it is releasing the past so this is all very key to why some of the confusion the release of the past can be very confusing it's all parts of you meaning you're releasing things from all parts of you and it's both of you, all parts of you both. That's what's happening. You're releasing from all parts of you both. Now, how many parts are there? Well, there are a lot, but some of them are only accessible 
hear in certain ways. And that is what I do teach. So the metaphysical equals the shared parts and connections that you've had. Those are things referred to sometimes as your chakras. Now what are chakras? Those are the energy portals. And to put it quite simply, have you ever had an electric train as a child or seen someone or maybe your cousin had one or your brother or your dad had one, okay? The chakra is like the transformer. You turn it up or you do something to it, it makes the train go faster or it makes the train stop. If your chakras get clogged up or accumulate too much, then you need some help and you need to know what to do so that you're running smoothly, so that things are quite literally on track. And these are some of the things about the metaphysical parts of you, and there's two people. The other thing, your higher dimensional, those are your subtle bodies, okay? Your subtle bodies don't want to hang on to the past. What do you do about it? How do you do it? Are you doing it? You might question that and say, am I doing it? I think I did what I felt. I followed this. I followed that. But a one time doing something isn't really going to completely help you with your do over. You may be doing over certain parts. Why are you having a do over? So that you can meet and re-encounter each other and have it go so well, you'll wonder why nothing is even there to trouble you. Now, some people, they go around and they will sometimes make decisions and they'll say, you know, I'm sorry, I just don't feel like dating. I'm not feeling it. Um, I'm just not that into it. And what they're really saying is, I can't feel. I can't feel a connection with you. I can't feel a connection with you, with you, with you, with you. I don't know what's happening to me. I don't know how to feel again. I don't know, but I know... I know that it feels like I should have something really deep. It feels like I want something that's deep. What does that mean? Does it mean a spiritual relationship? Well, for Twin Flames, it actually goes beyond the spiritual. It's more than spiritual, deeper than physical. And that is sometimes what people have a sense of. Or you can have a married couple, and they've been married but what she isn't really saying to everyone is she's been sleeping in a separate bedroom for the past three years. And she has her life. They go to they go to social occasions together. They talk and they do things. But she's sleeping separate. She just can't feel it anymore. She doesn't actually want to be by her spouse or her boyfriend. Why? Because she can't even explain it. She can't explain it. I can explain it. It has a lot to do with her being on her journey. Or you could have people where, you know, they're really good together and they have a partnership, but somehow everything in the intimacy department has, like, fallen away and they are experiencing a form of bed death. You know, they can't, they just, there's no energy in it. There's no rejuvenation. There's no re reciprocating they just can't and so it winds up feeling more like a business arrangement or you can have people that sometimes hey you know I need to be with you I need to be in an open relationship but I'll still be with you where they put conditions on it and while one person may consider it unconditional love hey if you unconditionally love me, you'll let me do this and this and this and this. But it winds up hurting. And the person doesn't want to be mean, but they just don't understand why does it feel a certain way. And we all want to feel, okay? We all want to feel. It's many times why people do things. Why do they provoke things? Why do they push and push the buttons? They want to feel. Why do they try things? Why do they taste things? For experiencing it's a natural part of being an angel we are angelics twin flames are angelic so the higher dimensional and subtle body parts are releasing the mental connections and strings they are leaving but they're leaving both of you what does this translate as 
mental scatter. Scatter will begin and with it feeling tired and exhausted. Now some people who've been through a few of these cycles last year, you might have a diminished effect and that's okay, but you might still feel it. You might feel scattered from time to time. What does it mean? Well, there are actually two of you. So what does that mean? So now your higher self being able to distinguish the truth that your higher self is leading you, guiding you, connecting with you. Why? Because many people have been tangled up in the past. Being free of your past means all of the entanglements. And what is the other thing with physical intimacy, emotional intimacy, feeling safe, feeling secure? not feeling vulnerable, feeling recharged and not drained. What else does it include? Someone who never leaves, someone who's so into you because they're in you. That's another thing that sort of disturbs me. Are you expecting no passion? You should be expecting passion. What happened to that initial pop that you felt? Where did it go? Well, I'll tell you where it went. It is a part of your higher dimensional and it's part of your metaphysical. How do you get it back? How do you keep it going? That is the thing that is being learned this year. Not only how do you keep it going, but a word that a lot of people like to throw around, sustainable. How is anything sustainable? Okay, because it has to come from an unending supply an unending supply of love and passion that keeps you going and keeps you sustained and sustained and sustained and maintained, sustained and maintained. Okay, so if you want to learn about physical intimacy, how to develop it, how to deepen it so that you are so into each other that there I will tell, tell you this, there is no going back, but you'll want to keep moving forward. This year is, there is no going back. That's what the eclipse was about. That thing slammed the door on a few things. It started last year, it finished, and it's going to be finishing. And it would behoove people to actually find out. Okay, now I want to let you know how my classes are structured. This is an online class, and this is what I tell people. Show up in your pajamas. Show up ready to do some of the things that I walk you through, through the communing with your twin. And I like people to get into that theta state where you just naturally are there. And that is what I am able to do. That is what I teach people to do. That is what I empower you to sustain for yourself and to keep it. And so I do open the floor for questions and answers. Any kind of questions can, you know, we talked about crystals once. We talked about um, other things like, you know, uh, metaphysical sensations people are having. We talked about the imbalances within the body. I do introduce you to supplementation. Uh, to be of assistance to you. I do introduce you to essential oils. I pack a lot in here. There is a lot in here for the dollars. A good bang for your buck, so to speak. And this is in three parts. You will learn and you will feel. You will feel. So while some people might be a little tired of some of the, you know, things that you have to do, okay, it's also about balance. Quite a bit of what I talked about recently had to do with how do you balance the high parts with the level of living here, okay? How does this couple, how does this couple go from being, you know, superstars in a higher realm and in their private moments and still get on with life? Because like it or not, ladies and gentlemen, this is really happening. And the good news is, it's for everybody. Okay, it's at different times for different people, but the possibilities are there. So what I want to let you know is there are a lot of people, a lot, where you could almost look at them and say, can't tell by looking at them, but they are having a fabulous time in this level. 
but they're not having a fabulous time here at this level. How do you get everything connected and balanced, okay? Even while you may feel things that are happening, how do you do it? Because it's up to you to assist your twin. You have to help your twin, okay? You two are the only ones who are connected. So while this is, uh, you could say, ordinary everyday people doing their ordinary everyday stuff, and yet we are extraordinary magnificent beings who are angels and whose angel parts are really lighting up and needing the assistance and how the how to how to develop and deepen because in a higher level you don't have to at this level you do you have to do the thing that people are seeking i mean entire you know tomes of material is devoted to writing about it come and feel learn and feel okay that's the thing that i promise is that you will feel you'll feel your connection with your true love you will feel and you will learn how to continue and okay it's the difference between you could read about sailing or you could get out on the water and get the wind in your hair and feel the waves and you know almost taste the salt okay do you want to almost taste your twin and feel your twin and smell your twin and smell your twin and sense your twin okay all of the things because being an angel means all directions also the metaphysical parts of you have additional senses so thank you so much I hope you'll join me the days are February 9th in the evening bring your pajamas February 10th in the morning you can still come in your pajamas if you want February 13th in the evening and part 2 the 15th 16th or 18th the exact times are in the links down below part 3 is to be announced but it will be in three parts one price you can join any of these and you select which you want to join for the next one also if you're in or near Chicago or you're coming into Chicago I am doing a live twin flame hands-on class to teach you and to do your twin flame chakra balancing either February 24th or 25th the information is on my website my website is twinflamesmerge.com and yes I do personal sessions I do body work I do live body work I do work to get you balanced and back to feeling because it's up to you to feel so you can navigate so you can make decisions and so you can feel the love that you're here for so thanks so much for watching I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope to see you soon take care bye now